Um, I'm Josie Fosno, I'm a freshman. I'm Sasha Malo, I'm also a freshman. Uh, I'm Una, I'm a sophomore. Okay, so um, the other day we were in the LMC and uh, we were talking about this possible overturning of Roe v. Wade and we wanted to do something to um, make our school loud and yeah. so yeah. And Sasha, Sasha said to me I wanted to do something and I had already been I had already yeah. been thinking about trying to organize like some sort of like protest. Like I was thinking we would do a pink out or like some sort of color that we would all wear to show our support. And then with a little research, we settled on the color purple because it is historically tied to the women's rights movement. And then it kind of just like went from there. We printed out, we made up like posters and infographics to put like to pass out and to put on our Instagram and Snapchat stories. And we just got involved with the feminist club and. We a club. then had this walkout, Jersey. And yeah. Um, yeah, and it originally like just started with like the purple shirt thing, and then it just yeah, like Una said, it just got bigger, which I think is really good. Hi everyone. We would first like to thank all of you for wearing purple and walking out with us to support women's rights and reproductive rights. Una Malay. Just a friendly reminder, we are going to head back in at the end of case around 11.10 and I'm now going to hand it over to Una. As you all know, a Supreme Court document was recently leaked that said the court is trying to overthrow Roe v. Wade, which passed in 1973 and allows legalized abortion under the 14th Amendment's right to privacy. Not only does the right to privacy protect a woman's right to choose whether or not to have an abortion, it also protects the right of the LGBTQ community yeah, do that. and the right to use birth control. If the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade, the decision has potential to bring these other rights, in, other rights into question, one of them being gay marriage. Roe protects the woman's right to choose whether or not to have a baby, which is a deeply personal decision. A decision that impacts a woman's health and her future. The decision to terminate a pregnancy or not should be a woman's choice and not decided by the courts. Women should not be forced into having a baby because it is the only option and it should remain a choice for the women. of this law are very important to consider. If we ban abortions, if we ban abortions, many women will then make the decision to get an unsafe abortion. Around 700 women die every year due to pregnancy complications. This number will immediately increase if Roe v. Wade law is overturned. The long-term effects of this law also impacts the future child. Many women make the decision to get an abortion because of a large variety of reasons that include drug or alcohol abuse, financial struggles, education priority, or simply an unstable life for the baby to live in. It's only 200, it is over $200,000 to raise a child, and that's only until they turn 18. Given this information, if Roe v. Wade is overturned, the amount of children in foster care will immediately increase. DESE, the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education Statistics, indicated that in 2020, only half of children in foster care graduated from high school, and around 3% graduated from college. It is very important that we, as a school, recognize and understand the effects of this possible change. Thank you guys so much for listening, and I hope you consider this information. When I was eight years old, a woman told my sister she deserved to be raped because of the way she was dressed. My sister was wearing a crop top. When I was 12 years old, a police officer spoke to all the girls in my grade about how to avoid sexual assault. Don't go out alone, carry protection, yell as loud as you can. When I was 13, my stepmom shared her story with me. And when I was 14, a classmate shared hers as well. This is not the first time that I have, or any of the women here today, have had to been forced to think about the possibility of rape and sexual assault. But this is the first time in our lives 
that it has somehow become scarier. Now, the Supreme Court is considering taking away the right to negate from the possible childbirth that occurs because of rape. But this is not the only reason for abortion, and a lack of right to make choices about one's own body autonomy can have devastating effects. In the past few days, I have heard a lot of, but this doesn't affect me, why should I care? It is true that we are very privileged to live in a state where our reproductive rights will likely not be as harmed, and the country where rape and sexual assault are not as common as in others. But women's rights are human rights, and in some way or another, overturning Roe v. Wade won't only affect abortion. It will jeopardize access to certain forms of birth control, as well as emergency contraception like Plan B. It will also mean that fertility treatments will be harder to obtain for marginalized groups for whom access is already very difficult. Banning abortion will hurt the United States economy as well. Being in charge of their own reproductive rights, women have been more likely to complete college and enter the label uh, labor force with greater financial certainty. However, women who are denied abortion are more likely to struggle to pay for basic needs like food and housing. Communities of color will be hit the hardest. Female identifying people of color have bared the blunt of anti-abortion legislation for years. About 60% of women attaining abortion are women of color. There are a number of reasons for this, but let's consider geography. States that are most likely to criminalize abortion are the ones with higher percentages of people of color. For example, Mississippi, which already has trigger laws in place, 44% of the population are people of color. Transportation for abortion will be the only solution, but with gentrification leaving people of color disproportionately in lower income areas, safe abortions will be even more difficult to obtain. With this in mind, we need to be more grateful for the rights we have. We need to recognize how governmental systems in place are helping only certain groups in this matter. Thank you for taking the time to listen and learn. We have a lot of work left to do. So let me start off. It's so great to see so many people out here um, showing support for women's rights and support for Roe v. Wade. Um, overturning Roe v. Wade means that millions of women in more than half of the United States could either lose the ability to get a safe pregnancy termination or see their access drastically rolled back. This would be a major shift in abortion law, not only in the U.S., but it's, um, a decision would, be, would impact reproductive rights around the world. Um, overturning Roe would damage the global perception of the U.S. and would set a terrible example that other governments and anti-rights groups could seize upon around the world in a move to deny the rights of women and others who can get pregnant. To take away the nearly half-century-long constitutional protect protection for abortions could be setting an example for repressive governments around the world to justify future crackdowns on their citizens. Roe does not just impact the United States, but will send ripples around the world. We, back in the United States, where we have this basic protection, though it's never been enough, are slipping backward. This is a slap in the face to generations of people who fought for this right. Modern women don't know a world in which Roe v. Wade doesn't exist. Taking away Roe v. Wade takes away the right to privacy, to agency, for an American citizen's right to their own person. We are gathered here today to demonstrate our frustration on this attack on our fundamental rights. We also need to recognize the privilege that many of us have. I would encourage you to take action in other ways. If Roe is overturned, access to safe pregnancy termination will be felt in other states, or will be felt most in other states and among lower income communities. I encourage you to donate to fundraisers, sign petitions, and let your voice be heard on this issue and continue to advocate for those with less privilege. Again, I'm so grateful that the students and teachers have shown their support for this issue, listening and educating themselves, and I hope we as a community can work together to build an environment where students can feel safe and heard. Thank you.
The main argument that we hear from people who want to get rid of abortions is the life of the fetus. But that's not the whole point. The point, what I think is the best way to approach it, is that the fetus should not be created in the first place. And we can do this by educating people about safe sex and making contraceptives accessible. Some of these lawmakers want to ban contraceptives, including condoms. That would be the opposite of helpful because people would die from STIs and STDs. It would be incredibly unhealthy. The main point is to educate people on how not to get pregnant and to make sure that birth control is available and that we know the best methods for us. Women should make sure they know what birth control method is best for them and we should make sure that that is accessible everywhere. I really appreciate how the nurses at school have condoms in the nurse's office. That's a great way to do that. Thank you. Yeah. And while the overturning of Roe versus Wade would have a detrimental effect on women and our place in society, it's also the children that would be born from those unwanted pregnancies. It is not unlikely that the mothers who are needing abortions may have issues. Like we said, many of the women who need abortions are from low income communities. This also means that there could be women who have mental problems or disabilities who are not fit to raise a child or don't see themselves in raising a child. There could be women who just don't want to have kids and that's valuable. We are not machines. This is turning into The Handmaid's Tale where we are just a purpose and a method of execution. If we don't want to have to create a new human being and look after it for the rest of our lives, we shouldn't have to. Especially not if the method of pregnancy is unwanted. What if a young girl, a high schooler or middle schooler, gets pregnant by sexual assault, or by unsafe sex, or by rape, or incest? These are not impossible. And these are the lives that would be damaged by the overturning of Roe versus Wade. Adding to that, the fetuses who would be born to these mothers would not have happy and stable lives. If these young women who were assaulted are forced to give birth, they're not going to be able to look after a baby. These babies are gonna be unhealthy. It's more than likely that the mothers won't get access to the prenatal care that they need if they're young and they've been in a bad situation, which has caused them to have to carry the pregnancy. They often won't have a valuable or a reliable family structure that can keep these children safe, that can get these children education, food, and clothing. So not only would the overturning of Roe versus Wade haunt us as we are right now, it will harm the children that come after us and those children's children. It's going to harm everybody. And it's especially going to harm the young people who are here right now, because nobody can change this but us. As we end this protest, I just want to take a moment to thank you all for showing up and wearing purple and like all of our speakers have mentioned the most important thing is educating and spreading the word to get this out and change the possibility of overturning Roe v. Wade. So thank you all. Thank you. Please now head back to C Block. Do not skip any classes. Do not leave the premises of the building. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The job started from this club move. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Anya, guess what I did last night? I made these signs. My body is not a political battleground, yeah.